Halloween Ends has dropped 80% at the box office since launching. I guess it really is the end of Halloween in more ways than fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I was on the internet the other day and I read somewhere, so it makes it true, that Halloween Ends has dropped an astronomical amount at the box office. Like it made a bunch of money, but then suddenly people stopped going to it. And that to me means absolutely nothing, but people seem to be losing their shit about it, so it must mean absolutely everything. The movie's only made like $101 million. It's only made $101 million. Like a tiny amount of money. $101 million is. And I was also informed that you could watch it the very same day it released in theaters on Peacock. That's right. You could check it out on the cock the same day you could see it in the theaters. Now, I personally am not a shareholder of the Halloween franchise. I know a lot of people online must be because they seem up in arms about this news. Much like they get up in arms every time there's a significant drop off. Like the last Thor Love and Thunder movie dropped off 60% or the last DCEU movie dropped 45% or like every single movie drops a huge amount every time. It's not newsworthy and oh, Halloween dropped a larger percentage point? Gee, I don't know why that could be. Maybe because it was on the cock the very same day. I'm being overly hostile right now, I understand that, but call me old fashioned, back in the diz, which is, I guess, slang for back in the day, we never talked about the numbers the drop-off percentage of movies. We just talked about the movies. That was kind of the fun part. Now everybody's like invested in a financial sense. I don't really know what's happening. Do, do we have stock in this stuff? Why are we so concerned about these massive companies making bank? I, I just, it's so weird that we're picking all these different sides. Like I'm in this camp. As long as this movie makes money for my camp, I'm good. And if you're gonna come at me, if you're gonna come at Black Adam, not me, not, I'm White Adam, but if you're gonna come at the movie Black Adam, I'm gonna come back at you. And I'm saying, well, yeah, look how shitty your movie did on week three of April of 2021. I remember that day like it was yesterday and I've got the charts right here. Look at my laptop. I have them all. I have all the MCU movies and how much of a drop off they took. Then I made a separate pie chart and compared them to the DCEU movies. Look at the DCEU shareholding percentage is larger. Halloween Ends was on Peacock the same day it went to theaters. Less people are going to movies on a regular basis. Halloween Ends was a very polarizing movie that like 80% of the audience hated to begin with. So yeah, of course people are gonna opt not to go to the theaters. After that initial flood of reviews and comments comes out. Baskin's mom went out and paid her retirement money to go to Maverick. She only budgeted two movies per year to see in the theater and she sure as hell isn't gonna waste it on a movie that might waste her time. Instead, she'll go to like Wakanda Forever or maybe the new Avatar picture that's coming out. I love me that James Cameron. They're gonna check it out on P. It's right there at their fingertips. They already have carte blanche access to their grandkids' accounts. They got the Peacock, they got the Netflix, they got HBO Max, they got Hulu, they got Disney Plus, they got Apple Plus, they got Paramount Plus, they got all the pluses! I wanna tell you the percentage of myself that doesn't give a shit about this story. That's 80%. The other 20% that does was just to make this stupid video and hopefully gain a couple new subscribers that just wanna talk about good movies. Maybe I can pull them away from the void in this ugly place where we're chatting about the figures and uh, who got a big bonus. Some people may argue, Adam, it matters because if the movie loses money, we won't get any sequels. You know what? I say good. We need less sequels. That's the bottom line. And you know what? A franchise like Halloween where they've made like 13 of them, if one of them does bad, who cares? This was the end of it anyways. They're gonna reboot in three to five years. This thing could make a penny. And they'd still say, you know what? We'll just get another director. We'll get another creative visionary. We already did Rob Zombie. What about his, uh, what about his brother, Power Man 5000? Let's let him take the reins, start up a new trilogy. Now, if you excuse me, there's a brand new Hellraiser I need to watch on Hulu. How did that do in the box office? Oh wait, it didn't even go. So that means something, I guess. You could say the cock made the theater release. Get the shaft. Shout out to Lordship on Twitch for that joke. I filmed this video live in front of a studio audience and he, he participated. Why don't you join me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash adamdoesmovies 
it's a good time. You can also subscribe to this channel if you want it. I, I encourage you to because I post tons of movie reviews, rants, things of that nature every single week. Would love to have you on board for it. 